Hello, everyone. Hello, if this is your first time tuning in, seeing us live. Hi, I would like to introduce myself. I'm Iris, and today join me live together with my business partner from Singapore as well, Jen. So today we actually wanted to share with all of you in this month of July, every Monday at 8.30, both of us will talk about a uh, evening chat, a topic about quite close to our heart is about retirement. So many, many people might think that uh, we are still young and why we think about retirement at this age. To my definition, my retirement uh, it doesn't mean that we have to reach until uh, in our golden age, above 65, only then can enjoy our retirement. To me, actually, retirement is something about the freedom that I can enjoy early and doesn't need my financial and I have the freedom to travel freely, have my time more with my family. So today we want to talk about this. And of course, uh, if you're first time tuning in live, uh, I mean, we'd like to intro a bit. I'm a mother of three from Singapore. And uh, how about you, Jen? Maybe I pass Hi. over to you. Have a short intro of yourself. Yes. Hi. Thanks everyone who is uh, joining us live or watching our replay. Yeah, my name is Jen. I'm from Singapore. Uh, but Iris, I am a working mom, um, but I've got two uh, teenage boys. So we are really uh, excited to be here to share with you, you know, um, some of our thoughts about retirement um, in this whole new series. Yeah. So, um, you know, like what Iris mentioned earlier, right? Uh, some people may wonder, hey, like we talk about retirement lifestyle and we are still quite young. So maybe, you know, I, I just want to ask Iris, you know, what does retirement means to you? me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't Hello. hear you. Yeah, I can't hear you. I think now is it better? Now, now it's better. Okay. okay, yeah. So actually, uh, this topic is also um, how to say um, yeah. I don't Very think it's actually part. too yeah, not too early to talk about that because yes. we need to have a plan. We need to have a plan because uh, as I what I wanted to say is I myself already working in the corporate for over 15 years and also very busy with those uh, busy lifestyle and moreover also a mother of three is actually quite handful and always find that time is always not enough. It's not because of um, that I don't have enough time and also talking about the financially sometimes you just feel that it's just not enough to cover the ever rising uh, inflation and the expenses is just keep uh, getting uh, higher and higher. So, so this actually struck in my mind that how long should I actually have to keep on going to work that in fact can enough a retirement uh, fund for myself. And of course, we doesn't want to burden our children with our with our with, because we don't want to burden our children, right? Uh, and also at the same time, we also have this uh, health that we have to really take care of because we doesn't want to be when we get older, we have another burden to our children. So a lot of things is actually happening and crossing in my mind that retirement is not something that we have to we only will know about that after our 60s. So what we want is uh, we have more time, more freedom, financially um, freedom and no worry about the expenses. So that's the reason why we have to come to our mind that we need to do a plan. And right now is actually the right time. And it's not too late or not too early to plan for that at this age. So Jen, how about you? Back to you. I, To me, right, retirement means that uh, I can choose not to work. Or rather, yes. I work not because I have to work. I work because I want to work. So to me, that is retirement. Now, people tend to think that oh, retirement equals that you don't do anything at all. But uh, that's not my definition. My definition is um, 
I don't have to work because I have to earn the money. And during this time, um, during the retirement stage, right, I'll be doing a lot more work that are maybe, I would say, more, we call it pro bono, probably free to the community, um, able to serve, you know, really in the community. And uh, I always think that it's something that is more meaningful and more purposeful um, in life. So it also means that, right, in my retirement to me is that I would have the freedom to choose what I want to do. And when I have the freedom, it can be, be it time freedom, be it financial freedom, or even the wellness freedom. Because I don't want to come to a stage where when I am like 60 years old or 65 or 70 years old, I work until then, right? Uh, and then you don't have the health or you don't have the physical health or the mental health to work. So, so that is to me, um, you know, uh, what retirement uh, is about. And why is it for me also is so important to think about it right now. Um, and like you say, I read it's never too early, you know, to think about it. Because I believe uh, everyone who comes into this world has a bigger purpose in life. There's always something they have to deliver in the world. And I don't, I don't agree that people like us, ordinary people, are here to study, work hard, get married, settle down, have kids, and then work until the retirement age. So I totally don't think that our life is just meant to be like that, you know? I, I, I think our life can do something more meaningful. Uh, yeah, so, so that is why for me, I feel that, I said earlier, I don't want to wait until 65 years old, then we retire. By then, you don't know what's in it for us, you know? And it is important to me that now we work on it so I can actually create the very positive um, and impactful, meaningful type of um, difference to other people or within the community. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Because to me, right, um, for example, I actually wanted to do more, uh, contribute more to the society and volunteering. Mm -hmm. And be it whether physically um, contribution or monetary contribution, I enjoy both. And mm -hmm. uh, honestly speaking, I, I myself is also already adopted, um, uh, contribute to sponsor two child um, mm -hmm. The world vision. I found oh, that uh, he, he, he is quite happy seeing them uh, grow up and uh, create an impact to their family because I know that in order to help them to get out of the poverty, right, is through education. It's not saying money, everything. It's just a big to create an impact to help them be, to achieve the poverty. So just recently, I received a letter from them. I feel very happy. Uh, uh, and uh, one of it is like they are planning to, she's planning to maybe uh, further this, uh, already about 17 years old. So maybe, uh, yeah, once she study that, I can actually uh, another child. So, um, in fact, I myself also have that kind of plan that wanted to really visit them uh, in a way. Mm -hmm. But, you know, um, because we are working full time and we are just have this limited number of leave available. And yeah. sometimes we just are not enough, uh, not enough the annual leave for us to use. That's the reason why I, I don't find the kind of freedom of the time that I wanted to do the things that I love. Yeah. So in, in a way that retirement to me is really as agree, same like what Jay mentioned, it's not about doing nothing or just uh, spending uh, your your golden age. Like, uh, like uh, yeah, some people, they might like to just uh, do anything or whatever they like, their hobbies. But uh, yeah, I, I'm thinking why I should wait need to wait until that age only then I can do the things right I can actually do it much earlier yeah. but in order to speed up to in order to achieve that to have a 10 or 15 years earlier what I mean is maybe by 50 years old instead of waiting until 65 I can already start to enjoy the kind of uh, lifestyle and I have that I have that um 
capacity to do all this contribution, I will feel like it's more meaningful and happy. Yes. And yeah, that's the reason why it comes to my mind that um, that's the plan, uh, what I'm trying to do it and prepare mm -hmm. for now. So, so how about you? Uh, yeah, Jen? Um, <laughs> I know my that your boys in your teenage years already, right? So yes, very yes. soon, they, are, they will so, be... Yeah, so because as they grow up, sometimes you have more time to do what you want. So I also start to think, okay, when they grow up, uh, I have a bit more time. What can what else can I do? And I don't want to spend my time just working, honestly. So um, my ideal and my thought of uh, my retirement <laughs> lifestyle is, uh, of course, number one, I think many of people who have known me would know that I really wanted to build a cat shelter for the community cats. So mm. I'm able to provide them with good nutrition and also medical care. Um, you know, I, I really want to be able to have a space where it is safe for them. And um, it, is, it is something that is uh, very close to my heart. Currently, I can't do much. I can do bit by bit, whatever within what I can. I've adopted two cats from the streets. Um, you know, I, I do whatever contributions I can. So, uh, but that's a bigger dream that I have. And because with good nutrition that we give to the cats, they can have a better quality of life, you know. So, so and of course, medical care. So, this is actually one of my biggest dreams. Yeah. Um, the other dream, other lifestyle I have is that, of course, to be able to travel with my kids, even though they are um, teenagers or next time being adults, I, I still believe that uh, having that bonding is important. So, you know, by then, if they are older, um, scheduling is even more difficult, right? So I would like to be able to travel as and when, uh, wherever I want with them, you know, um, and continue that bond. Um, without having to worry about money, of course, without worry about our leave, and to be able to, you know, support them in their passion in whatever they want to do. Yes. Um, okay, my third point, uh, you know, is people who have also under know me that I the other group I want to work with is children, children who are at risk, uh, who are being abused. Uh, abandoned by their parents and staying in the shelter or in the homes. That is another big group of people that I want to do. And this group of children, uh, they need people who are there for them, present for them, which they, they want, but they never get it in their life. So I really want to be able to make a difference to them as well. Yeah, so ultimately, all these things that I want to do, you know, we need to have that freedom to 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 uh, choose to do, and and these are the things that uh, if I don't retire early, I may not have um, the ability to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, and honestly, all these uh, require money, right? Yeah. Because the finance uh, is, is something is a big chunk of it. Instead of having the kind of freedom, so yeah. that's the reason why that um. If let's say we can take care of our financial expenses, um, freedom of it, then we can have the capacity to extra to contribute to the society, yeah. which I think that is quite meaningful. Yeah, as and when I think that if let's say we are able to help others, it just create the kind of happiness that that you yourself will you feel it, right, Jen? Yeah. So actually, yeah. actually, just not about the financial. It's really also if you have the money, you don't have the time. It's also quite meaningless, right? Because you have to strike the uh, balance. Yeah. Yeah. We, we also need the time to be able to give back and you now be present and do things, you know. Um, I do know people, some of people they have a lot of money, but they don't have the time to spend with their family or to spend with whatever that they want to do. You know, so yeah, so ultimately, like you say, it's a balance that we need to have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so I find. Yeah. Yeah, Jen, you go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you know this is our little bit of sharing how we, uh, our perspective about retirement. 
um, before before I, I want to maybe uh, have some um, um, food for thought for everyone, uh, maybe Iris, you have anything else you want to share with the people who are watching us? Yeah. So I, I know that a lot of people, they in Singapore context, uh, what I can understand now is really a lot of people wanted to really retire early. But the mm. thing is how to retire early because we in Singapore, we know that how high is the living, living expenses. Yes. It, yes. And in order to really um, enjoy, uh, remain the same lifestyle after you retire, it's not that easy. That's the reason why we need to have a different portfolio. Beside from just relying on your single source of income that which you can get the CPF contribution every month, the saving, I think uh, you also need to think about uh, maybe another portfolio like investment or if you want to invest in a property or in a stock market or anything or anything that can generate a passive income for you. And of course, for myself, besides from different kind of portfolio like insurance or investment, I'm actually venture uh, this online business because this online business uh, actually giving me the kind of uh, uh, the kind of dream that potential that it can actually speed up my retirement plan because of the because of the if if you are actually in this community you will understand why like Jen do you understand you understand you can see the kind of potential right a lot of people that actually retire really really early because of this because um this business is really borderless it's online and it's just globally so there's actually outreach to everywhere not just limited to singapore if let's say you're talking about investment in property yeah yes right you can actually invest in another country but the thing is it requires very high capital which not everyone might have that kind of cash flow so for myself, I actually try to be invest in this business in hope that it can actually speed up my retirement plan, right? So um, how about you, uh, Jen? I feel that, anything? Yeah. yeah, I feel the most important thing is um, investing in ourselves, yes. right? It is not just about working um, or just investing in other type of portfolios but i believe in investing in ourselves and only when you invest in yourself then you will also start to grow um, and a lot of things you will realize that it will just naturally fall in place yeah so you know before we end the session i also want the audience to think about this you know have you really thought about your future or you know, have you really thought about what type of retirement lifestyle um, you envision? How does it look like? So, you know, sometimes we may be too scared to think about it because we don't want to think about it. Or sometimes we feel that, oh, you know, life is just a routine. Just take things at a time. Um, so if you have not started to think about what your retirement lifestyle is going to be like, Maybe it's time, you know, after listening to us, think about it, you know, and I hope that, you know, watch whichever way you do, you know, start thinking about it as the first step to build yes. your type of desire. Retirement, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Everything starts with the first step. Yeah, mm -hmm. be bold to take the action. Whichever things that you think is suitable for you, just go ahead with it. Sometimes yeah. if you think too much, it might be actually an obstacle and you might just too scared to even take the step. You might not know that it probably can bring you to another perspective for life that, yeah, right? Yes. So, yeah, thank you so much uh, for everyone who tuning in live or watching the replay. So... Let's uh, uh, join us live again next Monday at 8.30. So we will bring you to another topic. All right. Thank you so much. And thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Feel free to can, uh, visit us. This is our website. Bye-bye.